putting the spotlight on Mr. Sparky of Southern West Virginia. Joining me right now in the studio are Kristen and Lee Lewis. It's great to see you all. Thank you for being here. We Thank always you. love being here with you. <laughs> Absolutely. You. Love having you both in the studio. So right now we're going to talk about space heaters. So Lee, what should folks know about what you brought in today and just the services that Mr. Sparky offers? Yeah, so th this is the typical space heater that uh, a lot of the customers have in their home. Um, we, uh, Kristen can speak uh, on the types of calls that we've been getting uh, responding to space heater calls. Do you wanna talk on that a little bit? Yeah, just since it's really started getting cold um, the last month and, and even a little before, uh, we have gotten such a, a huge surge in calls, incoming calls that are, my son plugged in a, a space heater and now half of my house doesn't have power. Or my son plugged in a space heater and now we really smell a burning smell. We've unplugged it, but we still smell it. Or um, I plugged in a space heater today and my breaker tripped and now it won't reset. Mm -hmm. So just a huge surge in those calls. And Lee's gonna explain to us a little bit about why that is. Yeah, so as, as a responding electrician, when we get uh, one of those calls, we, we go out to assess what's going on. And we've been finding, I brought in uh, one of the receptacles. Uh, this is out of, of, out of a home that, um, that we responded to a call on. And with space heaters, they, they pull a lot of amps. So um, we're finding that many of the homes is called what we call uh, backstabbing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an old technology on how they used to wire receptacles. Mm -hmm. And this, this particular receptacle here is backstabbed. And what that is, is um, instead of wiring the recep receptacle properly, which is actually making a proper connection around the screw, mm -hmm. it was a quick, uh, easy way, and they backstab it. So they literally oh. just plug it into the back. Mm -hmm. So there's this pinch point that it's just a tiny little surface area that's making connection, mm -hmm. as opposed to a correctly wired receptacle mm -hmm. uh, all the way around the screw, which is a lot more surface area for the, the current to flow through. The more surface area, the, the better it is, because less heat. So when, when the space heater is plugged in, um, and it, it's pulling a lot of amps, it's, it's causing bad connections in these receptacles. It's heating up, heating, cooling, contraction, expanding, um, and, and it's causing issues. So when we go out um, for us to fix it, we uh, wire the receptacles properly here. Uh, another thing to note is space heaters, if you have to use them, as it says on this little tag here, you should always plug it directly into an outlet. Mm -hmm. So you would actually plug it in like this to an outlet instead of surge, surge protectors mm -hmm. or surge strips, power strips. There's many different terms for that. Um, so we're seeing a lot of that. Uh, surge strips are not rated for that. Um, so if you have to use a space heater, definitely plug it into an actual outlet and not an extension cord or a surge strip. Right, and if a customer or a viewer at home is having issues with their space heater, what should they do? What would be the process like, Kristen, once they get in touch with you and Lee? So we would schedule a, a visit immediately. So anytime there's a power outage like that or a burning smell or, or something, we consider that an emergency. Mm -hmm. We do have technicians on call 24 hours a day. We'll send somebody right out to assess it and figure out, hey, what's going on? Because it can be something minimal, like fixing this receptacle up here, or it can be a, a very large, um, there could be a lot of damage done that we need to get fixed to prevent a fire. So uh, call us up. We'll get you on the schedule straight away and get somebody, a licensed electrician out there, check it out and get get it fixed for you. And what is the best way for someone at home to get in touch with you? So you can visit us at www.mrsparky.com forward slash Princeton. Mm -hmm. Facebook, you can direct message us or you can call us is the best way, 304-355-5200 and there's always a live person to answer your call. Great. Kristen and Lee Lewis, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Thank, thank you. you.